What's poppin' everybody, it's your boy Snowy Kurama, and welcome back to Snakewood. We got episode 9, yep, 9 for all of you here. So in the last episode, we crashed onto the SS Ken Greyho, which is from the Visbu region. It's a submarine, and we gotta take care of some sea demons and plugging up holes and making everything work again so that they can get the fuck out of here, and so uh, we can get the fuck out of here. So, yeah. Um, that's really all I got to say. Oh yeah, we ran into some chefs as well. Hungry chefs from Famine. So if you are here liking what you like so far, press that like. Of course, only if you like it. Don't want to force you to do nothing that you don't want to. Subscribe if you want to see some more of this shit. Tickle that bell so that you can know when I'm uploading if that's what you want to do. And here we are with the team. Find the right button, you dum-dum. Nothing's really changed besides potatoes has grown from level 16 to level 22, but that was all last episode. And uh, everything else here is what you see, so here we are. So I think Slateport City actually has a name raider so that we can get rid of just straight up Gyarados. We didn't really explore up here last time. I just sort of overviewed it and tried to find an encounter. So... We're gonna actually take more looks around. Okay. I know there are all these holes. I don't know if they go anywhere, per se. Not really sure. So, let's actually dive. Can't, okay. Well, looks like these holes don't go much anywhere. So we're just gonna go down here and surf along the water. Another Magnemite. Ours is stronger. It's great. Um, looking around. A love disc. I am so happy that that's not what we ran into. Would you stop? So happy that we ran into Magnemite and not stupid ass love disc. Oh my goodness. We can't run around here, so I'm gonna have to speed through like so. I don't even know what the fuck we're looking for besides their sea demons. It's this bit's not broken. Oh, that's good. This part of the engine seems to be broken. A nut has come loose, and it seems to be crying out for an arc light spanner. Okay. So I guess an arc light spanner, whatever the goddamn that is, is what we need. Hey, there's an arc light spanner here. <laughs> Looks like it'd be just the thing to fix the engine. Okay. There are dive balls here. I'll take some free dive balls. And a med kit. Very nice. Favorite thing in this game is probably the med kit. What's this arc light spanner even look like? I don't know what the hell it is. Oh, it's not gonna tell me. That's fine. And the engine started working again. Now I have to find a way out of here. I didn't trust him as soon as I found him. Oh, thanks for fix fix the. Yeah, I came down here to look for the engineer, but I couldn't find him. I haven't seen anyone about lately. Uh, yeah. As a token of my thanks, I'll drop you off in Route 110. Come with me. Sorry, the teleport's a little jumpy. I'll see. I'll see you around sometime. Submarine is moving away. There is a Porygon 2 here. I do not trust it because it's snake wood. This Porygon is clearly lost. Better leave it here as it probably belongs to someone in Slateport. Why? Why can't I just take it with me? We didn't really properly explore this place. Pokemon contest, hyper rate registration. Let it burn Pokemon trainers. Okay, well. You it? 
Yep. No. I guess no one around here is wanting to change nicknames considering <laughs> the zombie plague. That's probably the last thing on people's minds. Seeing these buildings just out here with nobody in it is very unsettling. When I'm expecting people and there's no people. Killin' horn. It's a horn for killin'! <laughs> I guess. <laughs> uh, hold item that calms spirits and fosters friendship. Okay, so it's a soothe bell. Soothe bell. A soothe bell for killin', I guess. I don't know. Let me stop. Let me stop. Had to sip some coffee. I was yawning last episode, so I figured coffee, 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 coffee might just help me out. This place is bizarre. I think this is it. Survivors are clustered here in the market because these monster chefs can't stand food. The smell of our supplies keeps them at bay. Okay. This uniform is the Hoenn Internal Affairs Army uniform, I guess. I'm a soldier, you see. Why are you here then? <laughs> I guess as a soldier myself, I'd rather be cooped up like this than uh, dying and turning into a zombie. What? No, no, I'm not stealing from the supplies. You little bitch. You're the worst. The food is running out. I'm so hungry. Oh, no. I need a powerful Pokemon so I can get out of the city. If you have a face leech, would you like to trade? I can give you a Munchlax in exchange. After all, it's useless. I don't have a face leech. Hi, hi. Oh, there you are. So the nickname is Gyarados. What do we want to nickname this Gyarados? See, I have a default name when it comes to Gyarados, and that's a derp fish because Magikarp's so derpy and then it evolves, and then it's just funny and ironic that it's, you know, derp fish is this big old boy. But we're nicknaming a Gyarados now, so I don't think derp fish really works here. I don't think it works here. Um, thinking here. I don't know. I don't know at all. His name is Walter. Because fuck you. You're now named, Walter! The on- no, Potatoes is the other male in the party. I'm like, damn, it's just a- it's a party of females out here. Walter and his harem, huh? <laughs> There's just a little more food, yeah. Uh, I'm the energy guru, but since the evil chefs came, I lost my energy. I'm always ready for customers. Kinder Egg. Magic stars, wine gums. More yawning, I need more coffee. Food holds the chefs back, but we have to eat the food too. I don't know how much longer we can hold out. That's this this is a, this this situation sucks, let me tell you. Is there a Pokemon Center? Boom. Yeah, breaking crates. You're a chef now? Oh, I guess it's just... I'm very confused. I'm very confused. What about this museum? Uh, empty as shit. As to be expected. No Mar Archie or Maxi freaking event happening in here. Makes me think that there's nothing else in this town. All right, and we don't have a good rod to uh, grab an encounter, but we can at least try to surf, maybe. 
I think we can get, yeah, we can get to Route 134 here too. Yeah, we're just gonna... I think Quillfish is just what Tentacool is now, so... We'll grab our Route 134 encounter when we get our Super Rod. I think the Super Rod's just gonna be how we're gonna be getting these fishing encounters. I guess that's a that's something. Uh, do you like fishing in the Pokemon games? And if you don't, then what is your favorite alternate way besides running into the grass that is your favorite way of getting Pokemon? I have not played Pokemon Sword or Shield because I'm poor as shit and can't they get a Switch and stuff. So I guess my favorite alternate way might just be... Shit, what is there? There's fishing, there's rock smashing. I do like that in Let's Go, you can actually run into the Pokemon like they're actually there. So I guess I'll say that, even though I haven't personally played Let's Go, but I do like that concept. I think it should have been like that the whole time, but you know, with RPGs, that's not how it works. And Sword and Shield didn't do it as well. You could only really do it in the wild area from what I see, or what I've seen. But also the nat, the freaking dex nav thing from Oris was really good because you could uh, scout out Pokemon that you wanted with egg moves and stuff. I had a... I caught something. Oh, I think it was Swell... I think it was... It was Taylor with some good move. I don't remember what it was. It was really cool because I was like, hey, this doesn't usually come on this Pokemon. It's really cool. Oh no, it was a uh, low tad with Teeter Dance as well because you know it doesn't usually come with it. But here's our encounter for this route, Route 110. An Oddish. We do not have an Oddish. Or a Grass type in general, I don't think. Damn, that did a lot. Get in the ball, buddy. Good. I was like, trust me. Get in here. During the daytime, Oddish buries itself in soil to absorb nutrients from the ground using its entire body. The more fertile the soil, the glossier its leaves become. What do we want to name this Oddish? Hmm. Even though I do like using Vile Plume in competitive play, I don't have a nickname for Oddish. I don't. I almost just want to name it Plant. Judge me all you want, but I wanted to get this game going. And it went to the PC, which I don't think we can really access in this town since I have yet to see a Pokemon Center. I think the arc light- no, it doesn't. The chef's just behind her still? I don't know. Yeah, I don't think there's a way we can really, uh... Yeah, we can't really access the PC here, so... Let's keep going. Route 110. Alright, team, move out. This isn't exactly where I'd expect to hear the Team Rocket music. Yes, sir! What was that? It sounded like a military band, but that theme song was decide decidedly evil. Perhaps I ought to investigate? Sure. There's a Pokemon Center. Well, I just built in the chefs and zombies arrived here. I hate to think what would I would have done without it. Interesting. <laughs> Oof. Alright, so let's check out plant. Mild nature has chlorophyll. Absorbent sweet scent, so it kinda sucks. <laughs> oh well. Route 1... Is this all Route 1? Yeah, it is. Then here's Route 103, which is where we got irony. We don't have cut. And those are chefs. Uh, we can take on some chefs. Goo! Me too, buddy. Level 26. 
Walter's got it. Get out of here, buddy. Curlia. We know just what to do with you. Bye. Irony's level 29. Hey, help me. We haven't seen zombies in a while. It's just been chefs. Shrivel sore and Charmer worm. I don't think potatoes is gonna really uh, thrive out here, so we're gonna go to Navy, why not? We can just dual surf these boys. Uh, I'll bite you, I guess. Electabugs. Okay, we can't stay out here with either one of our mods. Oh damn, you got some mock punch on you too, huh? Switch out the potatoes then. Oh my goodness! No, not irony. Irony can stay out. Irony's gonna bite the electabugs. Potatoes. It's gonna go out to noisy. Jesus. Fuck, dude. And I, I, my favorite, favorite, favorite mod to run into. No, I want to hit the I, I with that. And I think I'm going to use Noisy's turn to heal the paralysis. There we are. Yeah, your I, I. Yeah, I used to have so many problems with you. And noisy is gonna come in and help. Jesus Christ. Burr! The zombies crumbled into dust. Thanks, I don't know what I would have done without you. I would say go to Slayport, but don't go there, cause Um They can barely survive as it is. What is this? This is actually really cool. I'm actually a fan of this. It is obviously in place so you can go uh, very far past for uh, Old Dale and stuff, but I still do like it. Can we get there through... Yeah, we can go down that way. Really cool. What sucks is now that I have to go all the way through to, uh... Let us go, let us go, let us go. What sucks is now I'm all the way back here, but... I mean... I can cut until I get back to where we're supposed to be. <laughs> I just wanted to explore, goddammit. <laughs> yeah, see you in a bit. And we're back again, once again. And I went and swapped out Navy for our Swiss Army knife here. Because nobody else can learn to cut. And I want to see this item in our berries. Reduct reduce, what the shit? Prevents stat reduction when used in battle. Okay, so it's another one of those things. Two cherry berries, useful, useful. Two lipa berries, also useful. Two more cherry berries. I have a feeling that we're gonna need to keep cut on us going through this labyrinth looking thing. We gotta max revive again, we don't need that though. So I might actually um, I'm thinking about grabbing Navy again and just tossing Marcy in there, because we don't really use her very often. But we already have water when it comes to, um, what's his name? Walter, so. I don't think that we need to do that again. Ah, time to go.
And we already got our encounter. No, you have to stay here. It's for your own good. Survivor Rocket. Okay. Here we go, Marcy. This is a good thing we brought her, huh? We can go out into potatoes, actually, for a Wismer. There we are. Oh, this is gonna be annoying. Found a crit plus. Interesting, interesting. I actually don't think that we need to have cut around here. Although if we do, I'll just pause it and come back. But I think I'd rather have Navy with us, you know? I'm gonna actually put him down here so we can access him quicker. Just in case we still don't have a cut user and we need cut. Geo dude. Wait, was this a different route? I don't believe it is. Right? This is all route 110. Yeah, it is. Good. <laughs> I didn't want to just accept that we ran away from encounter. That would not be good. Who are you? Halt! The Inquisition is patrolling the area bound here. Well, the Inquisition. God damn it. The Inquisition can suck my ass. Inquisition Footman. That's a weird name. I think potatoes can handle this. Not as well as I anticipated. But that's okay. We can just go out to Walter. Get out of here. Nose pass. The hell you think this is, buddy? I'm a Gyarados. Leave me alone. This thing is broken. And Walter is going back here. Ma Navy's gonna go up there. Ah, oh, Marcy needs some experience now. Potatoes almost has caught up to her, too. Like, damn. We're really gonna have to box her at some point once we get a better flying type, probably. Because you saw how Marcy was useful against uh, Metatite. There's a dragon over there. It's crazy how weak these Pokemon are over here and how strong, like, uh, how strong the trainers are that we're fighting. Because Rage Candy Bar, does that do the same shit? Raises a level, oh, okay, it doesn't do the same thing. Um, yeah, the Pokemon levels that we're fighting here are a lot weaker than that Solar Cave. Which I think is weird. Down. Okay, I don't think I needed to do all of that. But. No one's allowed to go on beyond this point. Alright, ass wipe. Say hello to my quillfish. I am so happy that I didn't go out to Gyarados. Because I wouldn't have one. <laughs> I will go out to... Yeah, we're okay. Grr, I need to tell the boss about this. You don't have to, you know. You can just let us go. You know? You don't have to do all that stuff. Alright, Geodude, get out of here. Out of my face. Geodude again. Key! Okay, so you guys were... You guys were doing all of this investigating and you missed this chef that was just chilling here? Yeah, feel real safe. Feel real safe. The safety levels I'm feeling right now are just astounding. I am almost uncomfortable how safe I feel with you guys around. I shouldn't have stayed in, but that was a lot of damage. I think it was a crit now. Ah, it's got the navy. I don't even know what's coming out. Curlia, that's... I'm so lucky. <laughs> I completely forgot it was part poison. Completely forgot. Chef fled. 
Oh no, man. Almost to Malville. What does this, this say? Island of Calm. I don't know what that is, but we're gonna investigate that after we get back in the, get into the city. Just so we can heal up our guys. Island of Calm, that's interesting though. I don't know what the hell that is. It's just like that weird, uh... That weird anti-space that we found near Verdant Turf. Alright, now we're all healed up. Stop there, civilian. The Inquisition is handling an outbreak of chefs up ahead. Well, you missed one. What, you won't stop? Then I'll force you to turn back. We got a Graveler this time. I was about to say, don't explode on me, please. Oh! Look at us! You go, potatoes! You've actually been, like, really, really good for us so far, so... This is dope. Got ourselves a Hariyama! Nice. Grr, I'd best go inform the boss of this. Grr. Mauville City. I honestly don't know how long I've been recording with all my breaks. Let's so do the math right now. 19. Yeah, we got some time left. Just a little bit of time. I'd think to the point where we can actually go to the Island of Calm place and actually check it out, see if we can get some encounters. There's a boy here. Hey, clear off, kid. This is okay. So I guess we can't do Island of Calm yet. Oh, we didn't check out potatoes. Fighting normal type, so now it's a normal type. Has a demon horn still, of course. Blah blah blah. Now we have stab fake out, which is pretty cool. This is Mauv New Mauville? Yep, we can get an encounter here, actually. This, this is just a dude. There's a chef there. There are people here. Is this just where Mauville City people are now? Maybe we can't get an encounter in New Mauville. There's that dragon down here, though. Kind of want to check that out. Unless we can't get to him yet. Yeah, we might not be able to. Wasted enough time. Let's at least go in here. It's a corpse. Its head has been completely re reversed and filled with sand from the ears. There appears to be no reason for this. There's been no reason for the way all these corpses have been corpse to size this entire goddamn game, actually. True Pokemon Porty never abandons her post. Good on you. I don't need anything right now, but... That's dope. Well, well, I thought you might need to hear this far, Snowy. Oh, Glyce, what are you doing here? I'm watching a battle. Care to join me? I hope this doesn't take too long. I gotta stop soon. <laughs> it's those weird guys from before. Oh, so you've met them before. They're the Inquisition. Part of the Hoenn's government. Since the zombies came and this government has eaten, there are more or less complete control of the region. But it seems like no one's in control here. Even these guys are fighting for dominance. Oh, they're in control, all right. Take another look. Don't be shy. I've made us invisible. What's keeping you? Boss! Hombones, return. Return to the void, monsters. This area is clear. It's time to clear out another. Let's go. Yes, boss. You, minions, return to the base. Who was that? How did she... What did she do to the zombies? I'll give her another voice later. That was Chloe. She's a... Taoist, just like me. So she has the power over the undead monsters that have recently sprung up. 
Those two zombies that were following her were her personal slaves. So why did you make us invisible? Aren't you Taoists, a close-knit secret group or something? Ah, we are indeed supposed to be, but Chloe has seized control of the Inquisition and they're currently hunting me. They believe me to be responsible for the zombie outbreak, you see. That isn't true. You sealed the rift to hell. You're helping us end the zombie plague. Try telling the Inquisition that. They don't believe it. But enough of that. I have a task for you. Go south from here and surf to New Mobile. Dentalion is waiting there to instruct you further. So that's what that fucking thing there was that wasn't talking to me because we weren't actually supposed to be there yet. Okay, Glyce, but there's something I meant to ask you. Have you seen the Pokemon Champion around at all? I believe you will find further information in New Mobile. Take it from me. It is imperative you go there. Thanks for just disregarding my question, you ass. Good luck and farewell. Fucking ass. Anyway, we're just gonna go ahead and wrap up today's episode. I think we have reached our time allotted. I like to keep these things a good 30 to 35, so yeah, here we are. Like this video if you have not already. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to see some more of this Snakewood playthrough and whatnot. Tickle that bell so you know what I'm doing. And, but with all of that being said and more, this has been your boy, Snowy Kurama. See you in the next video. Goodbye.